Ooh, that was kind of nice. Welcome everyone, this is Dom. Welcome to another episode of Kerbal Realism. Today, we bring you the Minmus Orbital Station. Yay! <laughs> we have Bob, Edmi, Philman, Hanlon, Dunzen, and Nildra that are all going to be populating the station. That's the top of this rocket. Um, and of course, by the name, it will be orbiting Minmus. So let's go ahead and take it off. Here we go. I've been having some issues with Kerbal Space Program recently. Um, a couple of those are the reason why I have not been uh, recording episodes, um, but mostly the reason why I have not been able to record episodes has to do with uh, the fact that I am helping a lot with a with the Happy Diggers mod pack, uh, which is Happy Diggers Amp mod pack. Anyways, that's beside the point. Uh, so we are going to Minmus today. Minmus is a great place to be putting this station, mostly uh, because it is on the outskirts of the Sphere of Influence of Kerbin. Now, uh, the reason why we want to put something on the outskirts of the Sphere of Influence of Kerbin is to make it easy to transfer things between Kerbin and other planets, or, for example, the sun, or moons of other planets, those kinds of things. We just It's just a lot easier, uh, uh, fuel-wise, um, to bring something from Kerbin or Kerbin area to other planets to do science or future missions. So these guys, these first six guys, are actually going to be satisfying a contract uh, that I've accepted for today. The contract is to put a orbital station around Minmus, and that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, the or orbital station has to be able to support, I think, up to 12 Kerbals, uh, but of course this station might have a little bit more capacity initially. Uh, one of the biggest issues that we will be facing uh, is keeping these Kerbals alive. So Bob, Edmi, Philman, etc. Uh, those guys will need uh, food, water, electricity, those kinds of things. Here goes our first stage. Please work. There we go. Uh, that is Smart Parts. Smart Parts allows me to basically program, if you want, uh, in stages or anything along those lines. I tipped over just a wee bit too far. Um, uh, to allow them to auto-fire whenever there's, for example, a fuel uh, deficiency, not deficiency, but uh, <laughs> whenever there's uh, no fuel in a tank or 10% of fuel in a tank, uh, you can do such things as staging or activating a uh, command group. I've had a bunch of questions about it uh, in the few, uh, in past episodes. As you can tell, my Kerbal alarm clock is actually up uh, in the top left-hand corner of your screen right here. I've actually uh, programmed in the sphere of influence, sorry, the transfer windows to Moho, Duna, and Eve, the closest planets to Kerbin. Uh, that will, basically what we need to do is have the station set up and ready to send a rocket or a probe to Moho, uh, in 71 days, and as you can tell, these guys only have 54 days of life support left. The electricity will last because we have, uh, what are these called, things called? Solar panels, solar panels on this thing. So the electricity will replenish. Uh, that's not an issue uh, with a specific model. Now, the contract itself requires us to, here we go, put your station in orbit around Minmus. Of course, that makes sense. Build an orbital station that has power, antenna, and a docking port, which we have, have a facility that supports at least 12 and have a research lab, which we can have all of those. The only thing we have to do is get it in an orbit around Minmus. And I want to have a nice, stable, circular orbit around Minmus. Uh, we are going to go ahead and get rid of the nose cone now. Uh, that's just a little bit of extra weight that we do not need uh, while trying to achieve a nice circular orbit around Kerbin. Do not hit us. Skimmed us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was close. Anyways, Bob and the guys are probably going, No! We're gonna die! Anyways, I should have probably turned before I let that thing go. Um, we're going to try to circularize our orbit here. That was sketchy! Uh, circularize our orbit here as best as we can and as efficiently as we can, because we need as much fuel out of this mission as possible. I've done this in a test. It does work, but I scrape by with only about 100 meters per second of delta V, uh, and that was without talking. So I tend to do things not as efficiently while talking on YouTube. 
So the attachments that are on this rocket or on this station uh, will allow us to expand it. There are a few nice little pieces of equipment that allow us to do so. There are two docking ports on the payload itself or on the station itself uh, that will allow us to add things such as power generation um, and facilities that allow us to grow our own food, uh, or produce our own oxygen and, uh, uh, and uh, water course or recycle water which we really really need to do uh, to keep these guys in orbit for as long as I need them to be this actually looks pretty good this launch itself so what we're gonna do is move to the map view now that we have an orbit I've done this plenty of times so I'm not gonna go ahead and explain that anymore we're going to set that as target and we're gonna set up a nice little uh, maneuver node here and what is this the descending cool let's go ahead and I'm not sure why, but I think these are actually flipped. I don't know why. If somebody wants to explain that to me, please tell me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set up a maneuver there uh, with our flight computer from, what is it, Remote Tech. Uh, we are going to hit our node, so we're, it's actually going to automatically position us and turn us towards the node that we just sent set. Uh, and we have 238 meters per second of a burn to complete, so we're going to go ahead and execute that. Uh, with a crew, I'm not sure if you're supposed to be able to do that unless you have a certain amount of crew or something, but it works. Uh, the reason why we lost the no co nose cone uh, that was at the top there was to reduce weight. Now, since we are in the light, we probably want to extend our solar panels here, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, extend our solar panels. On the body of this craft, we also have uh, a couple of radiators, which we need to extend. There they go. Radiators are from uh, forget, uh, Interstellar, I think. Uh, that They dissipate excess heat that these solar panels generate by uh, basically being in direct sunlight. Uh, the excess heat is something that will destroy your craft uh, if you don't pay attention to it. Uh, in the top left, uh, there is the alarm clock, and we have transfer windows to the various um, planets themselves. Uh, we want to send probes to those planets, and the best way to do that is from the sphere of influence of uh, Minmus. If we can somehow, which we can with this set of mods, which is amazing, uh, produce craft on the surface of Minmus and bring them up into orbit around Minmus, we will be able to then easily leave the sphere of influence of Kerbin and leave to those planets themselves. Since we're right on the cusp of sphere of influence of Kerbin, uh, it takes a little teeny bit of Delta V to leave and head into a interplanetary trajectory. Now here we go, it should automatically fire this, uh, this burn in 11 seconds from now. It's a very short burn, and then what we'll do is we'll move prograde again hopefully fire off these retro rockets on the bottom of this stage here um, and hopefully re-enter it for some resources. We'll see, I'm not sure. Uh, we might just get barely any. This is the nose cone we, that we lost. Uh, these are the two uh, pieces of uh, rockets that we brought with us, so the two outer stages that we had. Let's go ahead and, oops, what did I just hit? Ooh, anyways. Um, <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and hit prograde here. This thing will go ahead and dip, tip over. Now, uh, we have a transfer stage here, which is just this little teeny bit of KW fuel and the low profile engine. The uh, low profile engine, I think I have shown in a previous video, is my favorite thing in this entire set of mods. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. It's so small, it's so efficient, it's a great thing. Uh, let's go ahead and hit the stage button. There goes the bottom stage hopefully that will re-enter if it doesn't then it's in an awkward orbit anyways and we should never have an issue with uh, colliding into it we are going to go ahead and set up a node for minmus which is way over there so let's put it right about uh there that's decent for us and we'll put this out until we can hit minmus that is our goal Ooh, there we go. That is basically a direct hit. We don't want a direct hit. We want an orbit. An orbit will mean uh, better for uh, the survivability of this crew. Ooh, 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 little teeny changes. And I know you guys have been telling me to use the scroll wheel. I'm just not really used to it yet. Uh, so there we go. We have a nice 
50, uh, 50 kilometer orbit around Minmus planned out. So we're going to go ahead and hit the uh, node button and execute. And that, ooh, there we go, execute. Uh, that will happen in two minutes, 45 seconds from now. So uh, while we wait for that, let's go ahead and explain the reasoning for what we're doing. Now we're going to put a base on Minmus, uh, on the surface of Minmus. Uh, to mine resources and to produce parts. Uh, there's also something that comes with this mod pack, or not mod pack, this mod, a mobile launch platform uh, so that you can build parts with the workstations that come with this mod. Um, and also, potentially, I'm not exactly sure, I haven't tried it yet, uh, launch rockets off. Um, so what I want to do is bring fuel, parts, and basically assemble the rocket either in space or at that uh, remote place on Minmus and then do interplanetary missions. Uh, to do that we're going to need to supply the station here and the, and the station on the surface of Minmus with laboratories and uh, modules that allow these guys to live for a long time and to work. Uh, and that's going to be quite a feat and I think that's going to be a great way to expand this series out is with this set of mods. I haven't really tried it uh, but We'll try it together. I think it'd be a lot of fun. So it's going to go ahead and execute the burn in a minute 31 seconds. So let's just speed up time just a little bit. Uh, 13 seconds from now. Uh, like I said, I love this engine. It's so nice. It's so small. And it doesn't really pack very much of a punch, especially for something of this size. Uh, the station itself is very, very small. And once we start burning, I'm going to show you one of my greatest features of the station. It is the Space Donut! <laughs> okay, yes, cap Habitation Ring. Uh, you expand it out, and they're all inflatable. So it's mostly one of the coolest features of this, uh, this mod is the fact that they all of their, not all of their, but a lot of their uh, modules expand because they're inflatable. Uh, and if you think about it, if you bring something to a different planet or whatever, uh, you don't want to bring the actual space with you because that's a waste of space or a waste of other things. Um, so that's kind of the reasoning for it. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer to Minmus and I will bring you guys back then. And welcome back to the Space Donut. I have to say it that way. Uh, <laughs> here we are around Minmus here. Let's turn the HUD back on. Uh, we are in Minmus's sphere of influence after that burn. Uh, I made myself get about a 62 kilometer, uh, what is it, distance? Uh, height? Yeah. We're gonna call it that. Uh, <laughs> over Minmus here. I've actually set up a, another node uh, that's going to take about 165 meters per second uh, to burn for. Uh, and then eventually, once we get this orbit and maintain controls um, for approximately 10 seconds, we'll actually achieve the uh, goal that we set out to do today. Now, this is going to allow a little bit more money to be spent on uh, future missions for this specific station. Uh, the money that we're going to be achieving here uh, will be spent on the station here and for the ground station as well, which we also have a contract for. Um, and I also want to spend a bunch of the science that I already have, which uh, as you can tell, I have basically zero science because the game doesn't feel like telling me, and a bunch of money. Uh, also, the reputation doesn't load correctly for some weird reason. Not sure why, but uh, anyways. Uh, we'll do that next time. We'll spend the science. We will look at other things, but I'm actually almost out of recording time for today So let's go ahead and get ourselves into an orbit around uh, Minmus here as you can tell I named it the space donut instead of Minmus Whatever I called it. it's Minmus station one or whatever uh, Minmus orbital station one one of those um, and we're gonna go ahead and burn for that 164 meters per second uh, burn to allow us to get orbit around this moon. And I think it should be executing in five, four, three, two, one, bloop. Awesome, there it goes. And that was not an audio desync, that was just my stupidity. Um, so we have 46 days and that will uh, determine uh, our next mission basically. Our next couple missions, we are gonna need to bring up some sort of way to 
uh, bring life support to Bob, Edmund, Philman, Hanlon, and Dunzen, and Neildred uh, at the station here. We need to bring some sort of life support up or some sort of way for them to uh, produce their own life support. So produce food, produce water, or produce ox oxygen. And there are modules uh, to uh, allow them to do such things. I'm gonna go ahead and just burn just a little bit more. Eh, I think that's fine. It's a little bit awkward, uh, but we have a two degree inclination, which is almost directly on the equator of Minmus. Uh, they are gonna have an orbital period of, let's see, uh, two, less than two hours. So their 14 day uh, supply of, of uh, electricity will be um, replenished uh, relatively fast. 14 days is plenty of uh, time uh, for this guy to go around and get more electricity to cycle, for example, the oxygen, food, and water. For some reason, they need oxygen. Not not exactly sure why. They're green. You know, you never know. Uh, but that's basically it for recording time for today. And for all I have all week, I will do another recording session soon. Probably do one or two missions in that recording session. Um, but what we need to do next is bring up some sort of life support for these guys. I'm going to leave the... KW Rock Tree tank here, uh, just in case we need to do some little bit of maneuvers, because I don't have any RCS on this guy. I think I will do some sort of, uh, what is that, a Kerbal Attachment System uh, version of KAS, uh, sorry, okay, of uh, <laughs> Monopropellant uh, Systems. Neutralize controls for 10 seconds. I'm pretty sure that's what has been happening. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and let the contract complete, and we will get our money's worth out of it. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Uh, build a new orbital station around Minmus. We have done that. Uh, we've got 213,000 monies and almost 300 science and a bunch of reputation uh, from doing that mission. That's going to be it for today. And we're just going to go ahead and spin around to the other side of the moon here. And say goodbye to the space donut. See you guys next time.